We stopped at the seashore. Seashore? We Seash stopped. Seashore. Yeah. We stopped at the Seashore Trolley Museum. And this is in Kenny Bunk, uh, Maine. And it's on our way to our next campground. So we thought we'd take a little time here and check it out. It's pretty cool. They've got um, trolleys that are in. That have been restored, trolleys that haven't been restored. They've, some of these are over well over a hundred years old and they actually have their own trolley track where you can ride the trolley. So we're gonna go in and check the museum part out and then take a trolley ride. Oh one more thing. This is this uh, place is pet friendly. And we're taking Zephyr in with us. We had Monty in here earlier when we walked around to some of the displays, but even though you're allowed to have your dog ride the trolley, we don't think Monty would be that good on it. He'd so, be very nervous. Right, so we decided we'd just leave him in the trailer and take Zephyr. San Francisco cable car that was last uh, in service in the 50s. It's pretty cool. And they're still in service today in San Francisco. It's one of the few places that have cable cars running. Uh, tickets, please. Tickets, please. <laughs> Zephyr, stay here. When the dispatcher gives us her orders, we're going to be taking a ride to a place called Talbot Park. We'll talk more about that when we get to Talbot Park. In the meantime, a safety announcement, please remain seated at all times.
shoreline came through here in 1904 on this very right of way and took a portion of Farmer Reserve's property by eminent domain in exchange for one dollar and other considerations. The other consideration being where you see the reserve sign now is the actual level crossing the Atlantic shoreline put in so that Mr. Reserve could get his cattle from one end of the field to the other end of the field. This was dairy land at one time. There were no benches, there was no platform. We put that in. This field is also used for our pumpkin patch event, which is coming up in late September and the first two weekends of October. Now, it's kind of warm and kind of early to talk about pumpkins. <laughs> but guess what? Our volunteers have been busily sowing that field with magic pumpkin seeds. Now, when the moon is bright, the stars are all aligned. The air is cool, crisp, still. There's a magical spell that will come on the land. And the pumpkins will magically appear on that field, 500 pumpkins. Oh my goodness, you come out, have a wonderful day out with the family, get your pumpkin. There's all kinds of activities. There's more information about it on our website. Do join us for Pumpkin Patch. <laughs>was a real fun stop yeah we just finished our tour and we did take a trolley ride at seashore trolley museum in kenny bunk maine yeah and zephyr went along on the trolley ride we didn't take monty because he would be a little bit nervous yeah he was a little nervous on the tour of the older trolley cars are in the buildings yeah the trolley ride was a lot of fun they took you up the uh, line a little bit. It's about about a mile and a half. They said one way, and then yeah. they stop and tell you a little bit about trolleys and the where you could ride them all across the country here, and then they come back. Yeah, so it was a nice ride, and Zephyr seemed to enjoy it. Yeah, and we did too. Yeah. All right, now on to our campground. 
one thing to note if you're coming here and you're towing your trailer like we are here um, they do have room to park back here we called ahead and they said you could park back here with these buses the problem is you've got to do essentially a three-point turn now if you look over my shoulder here you can see I had to back the trailer into that spot and then pull it around to get it into here where I've got it parked so keep that in mind uh, if you can if you're comfortable with making a maneuver like that and turning your trailer around you won't have a problem but otherwise I wouldn't suggest coming back here because it's kind of a, a dead end there's really not a way to turn around once you get into the parking lot so just something to keep in mind well this is our final stop on our trip to Freiburg to the International Rally and we're staying here at Riverside uh, Park which is in Wells Maine it's not too far from the beaches and everything it's not our typical type of campground um, the sites are fairly close together and we actually had difficulty the site they originally signed up signed us into I didn't think I could back the trailer into because we were so close to other rigs across the street that I didn't think I could swing the truck around and get it in and I also would have to be able to get it out which I'm a little concerned about today it's gonna be tight pulling out but I think we'll get it out we'll get out all right uh, the cost on this campground is $65 a night, which is probably reasonable for this area considering a lot of campgrounds in the Wells, Kenny, Bunkport area go for probably over 100 a night. Um, but you're not getting a lot. You're getting 50 amp and water, electric, and sewer, which is decent. It's not a place that we would go to for a longer period of time, but just a quick couple of nights overnight worked out well for us. We did get down to the beaches from here, which was a lot of fun. And... We let's see what else we do. Oh, we went and got lobster rolls. So let's show you some video of both of that. We're in Kenny Bunkport, Maine, and when you're here and you want lobster roll, the place to go is the Crab Shack. And so what we're gonna get for lunch, actually dinner. So let's go check it out. So what did you think of your first lobster roll? It was excellent. Yeah, I mean, we don't, I can't even tell you the last time we might have had lobster. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yeah, it's been years probably it was very good the whole meal was very good fries coleslaw pickles all right well we're gonna get the dogs into the truck now and get on the road and our next stop will be the international rally in Freiburg Maine we've made it to our destination in Maine We've arrived at the Airstream International Rally in Freiburg, Maine. That's right. We're here at the rally and Freiburg, Maine welcomes us. So we're going to be here with 980 other Airstreams. And this is the biggest rally they've had in over 10 years. And it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, we're really looking forward to all the events this week. Yeah, 